Hello, welcome to my craft room. My name's Tina. This is Simply in the Stitches. Every month this year I am making a cowl and a pair of socks and the cows I'm making so far have all been my own design so I'm sharing them here on YouTube. They're always simple designs that you can do in one skein of 100 grams of yarn so yeah please check out the other videos if you haven't seen them already they're all just free simple patterns that anyone can do anything that might be a little bit unusual or difficult for a beginner i have a little section where i show how i retrieve that so this is the cow for march and it has got a feather and fan it's got I shall show you, I shall take it off and show you in a moment in more detail and go through the pattern. But just to show how it wears, it is quite long and so it can be worn up under a coat to keep you nice and snugly warm. Or if it's not so warm and you want to tuck it down and get a bit more air to your neck, then you can do that. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this. I think it's a nice, pretty, delicate, scarf that can be worn by anybody really so this one has come out quite small so there's going to be two sizes so if you feel you wanted one bigger than that i have got a child size head <laughs> and skinny neck so um if you feel you would like a bigger size a looser size than this then i shall give a new cast on number and that will be all that's different so where the repeats are so one of these repeats just means you would do an extra one of those and that's it so that will give you that extra space so let's turn the camera around and i'll show you in more detail how we achieve this here's the cowl in close-up so I used a 2.75 circular needle. I used a 12 inch circular. Most people prefer a 16, but my preference is 12. So either of them can be used. It depends how you like to knit. And I cast on 153 stitches. This gave me a cow circumference of 20 inches all the way around. 10 from this point. To this point <laughs> 10 inches which is 25 centimeters so if you ha already have a cowl you like the fit of I suggest you try that one on see what the width is of that one and then you can decide from there if you want to do this stitch count or if you would like to do a bigger stitch count if you'd like a bigger cowl then you can cast on 170 stitches that will give you one extra repeat which will give you two and a half inches extra overall which is six and a half centimeters so every one of my repeats is six and a half centimeters so you can make it as big as you like depending on what size of cow you like so we are using 2.75 needles. We have cast on either 153 stitches or 170. To create the garter ridges at the bottom, it is just knit one round, then purl the next round. And this is repeated for 10 rounds. So you will have five knit rounds, five purl rounds alternate. We then move into the main event. So this is where we will do the actual lace stitch pattern. So I've put in a little demonstration where I'm actually knitting that to show you. So I will put that in here. Okay, so this is a demonstration for the third row of the pattern repeat. So you have already knit two rounds. This third round to start off with, we are going to knit two together for three times. So that's one, two, three. And then we're going to bring the yarn forward and knit one five times. So that's one, yarn forward, two, yarn forward. 
three, yarn forward, four, yarn forward, five, and then bring the yarn forward one more time and we're going to slip slip knit four three so we've got the yarn forward slip slip and then go into those two stitches take that yarn round and knit those two next time with the yarn at the back still we're going to slip, slip, left needle through the two and knit those two together and the same again so slip, slip, yeah sorry left needle in, yarn round, knit those two together so I'll go through that one more time. I would also like to say that as you can see, I have a stitch marker right here. So I know that when I finish that last one, I've done it correctly because I finished at the right place. So start the repeat again. So we want to knit two together three times. So two stitches knit together once. twice three times and then yarn forward and knit five times so yarn forward knit a stitch yarn forward knit a stitch two yarn forward three yarn forward Four, yarn forward, five, then yarn forward, then we're going to slip, slip, knit, slip, slip, knit those two together, and then two more times with the yarn at the back still. So slip, slip to knit, slip, left needle through the front of those two, knit them together. And one more time, slip, slip, knit, knit those together and slide your marker again. That is the third row. So in that round, you just continue to do that for the whole of the round. And it's as easy as that. That's as hard as it gets on this pattern. Once you've finished that pattern repeat eight times, then we need to do this section here, which is just knit four rows, purl a row. Knit four rows, purl a row. And as you can see, you do that four times and then it will be time to do the lace section again. So on my cowl I have done starting off with the garter stitch at the bottom I've got lace panel, a striped panel, lace panel, striped panel, lace panel so three lace panels at the last lace panel, after I've finished my eight repeats, I then did the exactly the same ending as I did on the garter at the bottom. So it's just one row knit, one row purl, and then cast off. And that is it. That is the simple cow. So very easy to knit. I think it's enjoyable to knit because you carry on doing you have different row every row, but every row is a simple row. I hope you enjoy this knit. I think it's a good one to actually gift. I am giving this one to my mum for Mother's Day. 
so thank you for watching happy knitting and i hope to see you again very soon bye for now take care